Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jyot 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. So in this particular today's session, what I'm going to show you uh, the various uh, different types of uh, different methods to drop or delete your existing databases. So in, in my environment, I have a dev DB and a dev and test DB. So if I can check my ETC Vara tab, all three databases are running from my 19C Oracle home. So you can drop them using manual method uh, by uh, starting database in no mount mode and then uh, oh, sorry, starting database in mount mode and then drop database and using a DBUA, sorry, using a DBCA, you can drop your database and using your uh, OEM, can log into your OEM and you can drop your databases. So let's quickly uh, take any one of these databases. I will just uh, log into my Oracle user. I can take this dev database here. I can set the environment. Right, so I connected to my dev database environment here. Let me log into database. Right, so I logged into database, shut immediate. So I, I'll show this particular database uh, by dropping uh, manual method by shut on your database, start your database in mount mode with the exclude you uh, uh, with the restriction mode. Uh, there's a two caveat here, like, you know, what is exclusive and what is restriction mode? Uh, you know, that I'm going to explain in a brief. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'll do startup mount exclusive restrict. Right, so startup mount is for, is mandatory because to, in order to drop your database, your database should be in mount mode. And along with the mount mode, your database should be in the restricted session so that, you know, only this user can connect and he's able to drop the database. And what about this exclusive? Exclusive is nothing but in case if you are uh, dropping a rack database, the rack has like three, four instances. You have to shut down all the instances and you have to start only one instance, any one instance, instance one or instance two or instance three or instance four. Any one instance you have to start it to start any instance in only single mode, single instance mode the exclusive is must in case of rack. In case of standalone, exclusive is not mandatory. You can just do startup mount or restrict. Again, this exclusive and restrict doesn't matter. You can put it in any order. You can put like startup mount restrict exclusive or startup mount exclusive restrict. Anything is, is worked out here. No, no dependency on that. I'll just do drop database. Right, so It'll take a few seconds and it'll drop my database and all the data files, everything will be uh, cleaned up. Right, so your database dropped and disconnected from your 19C database, right? So if I do PS, if you have grab PS mount, gone. Your dev DB, whatever you set the environment, dev DB is gone. So let's drop your dev database using uh, your uh, uh, DBCA. Let, let me connect here. Uh, let me set the environment. Dot var env. Sorry, dot var env, and I'll set the environment as a dev, and I can just run a dbca database configuration assistance. With that, it will give a, a GUI mode, and you can select delete option over there, and you can drop a database. It has many options here. You can you can configure existing database, delete existing database, manage the template manage the cable database, anything, any application you can do. Right now I can go ahead with the delete database and then you can get the uh, all the list. Already we dropped our uh, dev DB, but still it has in the registry information we need to clean up. Right now I'll select uh, my dev DB and I'll enter the sys password for that. And I'll proceed further. Right, next finish it. So these are the file it's gonna delete it. The database configuration extent uh, will be delete the instance and data files associated to that. So I'm fine with that. I'll continue, done. So preparing DB for operation, connecting to the database, updating the network configuration files and deleting your instances. You can monitor it using this particular log file or you can, you can, you can monitor this particular uh, log file here. If I can go CD U01 app, Oracle, or inventory. So 
sorry oracle cfg2 logs cfg2 logs dbca and dev right so inside that you can you can check this particular log right so doing this delete operation here okay delete operation completed and let's close this one again i will run one more dbca and i'll drop the other database as well right so delete database done so i have my test database i'll, I'll delete my test database now and the only thing is if the if you see like dev db is still showing here if you delete manually using drop database command you have to do some cleanup in the inventory and all if you use your dbca dbca will do all the cleanup for you you, you no need to worry for that again to do the cleanup again you can do a dbca and then you can do it uh, but uh, that's not uh, necessary uh, let, let it go and then uh, we will we'll see how to deinstall uh, meantime uh, all our databases are dropped so and and parallelly we'll see how to clean up your oracle home Right, you can see right. Uh, your dev DB still exists in Vara tab and Vara inventory and central inventory and all. So if you drop your database manually, how you dropped here? So you have to do a lot of cleanups. You can see still exist entry on your Vara tab. And when you did uh, using DBCA, DBCA has removed entry from your Vara tab as well. So better one of the recommendations is always use your DBCA. Right, so it's still going on. Let it go. Once once this is done, we will uh, we will see how to deinstall your uh, Oracle Home as well. Yeah, this is done here. And then if you, if you try it, I'm not sure. Uh, will it, will it remove it? Uh, I'll I'll try to remove the database entry from uh, uh, from uh, 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 using DBCA. Probably it will fail because it will try to connect to my database and it will uh, uh, fail here. Right. So. I just gave it, it'll try to connect and it will say that my database is not up. So I want to continue. All right, so next. And it's, it's just going to remove my instances because all the data files, everything is already dropped. Then continue. Then continue. Database not mounted. Okay, fine. Done. Your database deletion is completed. If I can go back here and if I can cat this or a tab once again, see everything is cleared up now. So DBC is one of the best option. What I can say in order to uh, do a complete cleanup of your database. Okay, let's start with how to remove your Oracle Home. So we have your we have our Oracle Home here, right? Let's uh, go to Home Directory. We have, sorry. Let's go to home directory. Oracle inside that we have something called deinstall. Right. So let's go inside that and verify what else options you can see, right? Inside that deinstall, you will see this deinstall uh, the script. So you can just run this uh, deinstall script and that will uh, deinstall your Oracle home. So I'm just running deinstall. Right. So checking for required files for bootstrapping. Right, so deconfig check operation starts here, and then this is a log file it generates here, and then specify all the instances and listeners that are to be deconfigured. So this is a default listener. Uh, let me take one more uh, duplicate session here, and I can show you that uh, default listener configured. Since uh, all my databases are uh, deregistered, all databases are dropped. Uh, probably uh, it will not uh, show anything uh, related to my databases. So this is my Oracle home network admin, right? So this is my network admin location. If I do cat of my listener, I can see that particular listener, uh, listener underscore dev db. So this is what I am. This is what my deinstall is also reporting here, a listener underscore dev db. So this is a default listener is already listed. I'll just go with that listener. 
and uh, specify the list of database names that are configured in this Oracle home. So right now I don't have any Oracle or database configured here. I'll just go with the blank default option. But then it says following a single instance listener will be deconfigured. Your listener underscore DevDB is deconfigured. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. All right, done. So uh, it is doing some deinstall check operations and summary. Done. So your deinstallation, your Oracle Inverse Installer cleanup successful and successfully deleted your uh, Oracle binary and successfully deleted your inventory. And then what is asking, uh, run RM hyphen this particular on the on the on the node. This is your Oracle Lab 3 and then remove this and remove these entries manually. So I'm just going to run this one in the other tab as the root user. Done. Yes. Right, so, and then I'll run the other command. Yes. Click yes for all these entries. All of this log well, so okay, fine. So everything is cleaned up and remove your Vara tab entry. Done. So all cleanup is done. So that's a way you can uh, clean up your Vara tab. If I try to do Vara tab, I don't see anything. If I do cat etc uh, Vara inst dot loc, your central inventory location, that's also not there. If I go use your own app Oracle product 19c db home 2, if I do here. Uh, this is a dbom2 uh, we we deinstalled our dbom1 you don't see that dbom entry anymore here right so again if i go inside my vara inventory user and app vara inventory vara inventory also you you don't see anything vara uh, entry so this is a simple straightforward cleanup process uh, you can you can always uh, uh, refer these steps uh, thank you guys we'll we'll see it in our next session